It doesn't matter what it looks like, we just want it repeating where it matters on a regular basis. Based on how often you're playing, so there's another thing too. If you're just a once a week golfer, don't make changes that require several hours a day of physical range hitting abuse and to being hugely dynamic and capable and flexible based on your limitations. Hi everyone, Murdoch here, hope you're well. When making a change, you've got to understand the concept first. Understand the method to the madness and ask questions with your pro. Why is he getting you to make that change? What is it going to result in? Now, you don't want to make a pretty change if it's not going to be effective. So in other words, you don't want to be with a pro that's getting you to swing very pretty. Looks great, but it's not effective. Not effective at repeating a club head at speed with a good solid strike. Ball turf, trapped, compressed. So it needs to produce whatever you're changing, whatever you're doing in your swing needs to benefit here. Right here. It doesn't matter what it looks like, we just want it repeating where it matters on a regular basis. Based on how often you're playing, so there's another thing too. If you're just a once a week golfer, don't make changes that require several hours a day of physical range hitting abuse and to being hugely dynamic and capable and flexible based on your limitations. So once again, I want to go back to the same old thing that I do, hands on shoulders right. The core essence of the swing is body rotation. So you've got a ball on the ground like me, or you've got a mark on the carpet you can look at identifying as a pretend ball. We've done our posture check. You've got the help of a mirror right here to always be bang out a 10 out of 10 accurate on your posture. Pull the shoulders back, create a straight back of which to turn around understand the load and the balance points that little hip bump all right to set your right hip and knee inside the instep and the spine tilt slightly back of the target right hand lower for holding on the club so then when you put your hands on shoulders for most people keeping a nice angle in your spine bending from the hips tightness in the hamstrings here we are this is your go-to to give you the core essence of the turning action of the body. Eyes stay down. Thinking of a low ceiling helps some. As we're bent forward, remember, as we turn, we're going to immediately feel pressure building in right knee and instep. Right hip turning. It's promoted to turn. Pressure builds on the right side almost right away. Left shoulder feels like it goes down. You're suddenly engaging the lats. Pressure on right knee and instep as you turn. That's what you're feeling. The core tightening. Now, for most of you, you'll get a restriction before the left shoulder gets under the chin. Can you see how that's a chest high position here? If you extend your arms, there's your second checkpoint as you start to piece together the movement of the body turn in golf and then adding your arms. Then when you look at yourself in the mirror here, imagine the camera's your mirror. Can you see how it, it starts to look like a golf action? Similar to the guys on TV. It's uncomfortable, isn't it? It's supposed to be. They practice eight hours a day to make it look natural. They understand and embrace these discomfort feelings, get used to them because they know these good positions that are uncomfortable produce such a good result. So they run with it. It's so too easy for a weekend to just swing what feels comfortable, no pressure anywhere not warming up, running with the sore back and stiffness and going out to play. Every swing feels different. Striking is going to be all out of whack and just pot luck on the day. So you have to get some kind of routine to understand the simplicities of a good setup producing a load in the backswing and a turn through. Now, again, with no club as a distraction, I love these drills. You can understand your range of motion. How stiff is that back of yours, that knee, that injury, the hip, all of these things that you've had in the past, you can run with and realize that you can still make a correct move. Whether it's a shorter swing, three quarters or full, remember when you add the club, 
the momentum of the backswing move will carry you further than this drill shows you. But it's going to feel full. It's going to feel a full turn just like this does. Then it's appreciating from working back from impact. So you've done a backswing drill, then it's impact backwards. Where do I want to be for ball turf? That whole movement of turning through and feeling athletic off the right side produces speed and compression on the strike. We're keeping our eyes down on the carpet, on the ball, to understand staying in the angles is important through impact right here for compression and good striking, not coming up anxiously and stiff, excited to see where it's gone before we've even put the strike on it. What we can control as a golfer right here, a repeating move for a repeating good strikes. Now, the nature of the game means that we're not going to hit it down the fairway every time. We're not going to hit greens every time. We've seen that when we watch tour golfers. We watch them on telly. We see the best in the world on TV playing their best golf. If you go to a live event, you'll see some horrendous shots. It's really quite humbling at times when you see the struggling ones that miss the cut, how they can hit some really bad shots. But next week they may win. But they've all pretty much got a strike on it. There's lots of quality hits, direction, something else. That's just the nature of how difficult the game is. But they're ripping into it. They're committing. So don't lose sight of the basics. Understand the method to the madness. Do drills to fill you with confidence with your range of motion. And then start with impact dynamics backwards into these familiar positions that my drills will remind you. Making the turn, right chest, then through. You can start to see from filming yourself how the plumb bob position is very much how they are through impact on tour. Left shoulder is very much head height, right one down, arm tucked in. It's uncomfortable, but you'll appreciate that that's the correct position, so you'll run with it. It's very easy to go down the rabbit hole in this game. Anyway, long video, rambling. <laughs> I might even chop that into several ones, but tell me know, let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Golf isn't rocket science. It's a, it's a case of just reminding yourself of the basics, and this is one of those videos. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Share to anyone that may benefit. Thank you for your support. See you soon. Take care.